say the best cafe in the world. I said it first, yay. Today, Small is having to be first to everything. I like being first. I need a lollipop. Luckily, I bought a brand new packet. <gasps> Hang on. It's empty. Oh, sorry, I already opened them. I wanted to be the first to eat them. Right then, I'm going to finish that puzzle we started doing. <laughs> oh, sorry, I already did that. I wanted to be the first to finish it. OK then, I'm going to build a tower with my sponge building blocks. Oh, I already did that. I wanted to be the first to build the tallest tower. You can't be the first at everything, Small. <laughs> yes, I can. OK, let's have a race around the counter. I'll definitely come first at that. OK, on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> No, you're not. I am. I ran around the whole counter. But you only ran around that tiny bit. Oh, you didn't say to go around the whole thing. I'm first again. <laughs> that sounds like a customer. I'll go. I'll get there first. <laughs> I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. in our cafe today, Small. Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. She's a hoppy animal with long ears, a fluffy tail and loves to eat carrots. Hoppy. Carrot eating. Do you know who it is? Is it a bunny rabbit? Yes, it's our friend Bounce the Bunny. She loves bouncing. <laughs> but what can we cook for a bouncy bunny? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. It was sports day in Bunny Meadow and the little bunnies were going to have a hopping race. But first, they had to have their nap. Sleep well, said Mummy Bunny. Then you'll feel rested for the race. But one bunny didn't want to sleep. Her name was Bounce and she loved winning. I need to win that race, she said. So, she spent all of nap time doing hopping practice. She hopped on one leg, then two legs, and she even hopped upside down on her ears. When it was time for the race, she was really tired and had to have a lie down. Bounce was soon in such a deep sleep that she missed the start of the race. Luckily, I was flying by on my spoon. I knew there was one thing Bounce loved even more than winning. Carrots! I waved one under her nose and the smell of the yummy carrot woke her up. Quick, you're missing the race, I shouted. Don't worry, she said. I'm Bounce the Bunny. I always come bouncing back. And with that, she joined the race, hopping on one foot, then two, and even hopping upside down on her ears. But when she reached the finish line, she didn't come first, she came third. But Bounce didn't mind because she'd won a bronze medal. <gasps> it's shiny orange, just like a carrot. And carrots are my favourite things, she said, grinning. And from that day, Bounce realised that you didn't need to win to feel happy. Taking part was just as much fun. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Yes, I'm so glad Bounce didn't miss the race. But what can we cook for a hoppy bunny? Ooh, we know she likes carrots. Maybe that could give us a clue. We need to do some serious thinking. 
I know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Ooh, here's the perfect recipe. Rabbity Carrot Cake. It's full of carrots and looks just like the medal Bounce the Bunny won. Great. Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Coming up, Jen. For the cake, we need sunflower oil, eggs, self-raising flour, soft brown sugar, cinnamon, baking powder and raisins. And for the icing, we need cream cheese and icing sugar. No problem there, Small. We've got all those. And no bunny cake could be complete without carrots. Eek! We don't have any carrots. Don't worry, Jen. I can hop on my spoon and get some. <laughs> Great idea. And I'll get everything ready. Why don't you come along too? She'll see today. <laughs> I think I see carrots growing over there. This is Eswari and her mum. They're going to pick some carrots. The carrots are here, but I can't see them. A carrot is a root vegetable, which means it grows underneath the ground. There's a carrot! They have bushy green leaves growing out of their tops. Can you see the orange carrot in the ground? But how do we grow them? First we need lots of soil. Can you reach the other side? Yes. The carrots grow from these tiny seeds. Okay. Keep your hands together. There we go. Sprinkle, sprinkle into the ground. Okay. Cover them up so okay. that they can grow. Then they need plenty of sunshine and rain. <laughs> you can get really muddy planting carrots. Let's look around the garden and find a carrot that's ready to pick. They're not carrots. There's a carrot. <laughs> Hooray! Put it into the basket. There's a long yellow one. That's unusual. <laughs> Look at wow. that. Look at all those scrummy, crunchy carrots. These carrots are perfect for our cake. Let's get them back to the cafe. I'll see you there. Ooh. 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 Whoa, I'm back. I came first again, Jen. <laughs> Small, you weren't racing against anyone. Did you get the carrots? Here they are. Brilliant! I've prepared all the other ingredients, so we've got everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Bunny pots and hedgehog rolls. Starry breakfast skies. Robot cake and power shake. And sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. And she is small Friends in our cafe We cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat You can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes Have you washed your hands? Yes All, all clean, clean and ready to cook. cook While you were away 
I set the oven to 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark four. Brilliant! Do you remember the ingredients to rabbity carrot cake? For the cake, we need sunflower oil, 170 milliliters, eggs, two cracked into a bowl, self-raising flour, 180 grams, soft brown sugar, 140 grams, ground cinnamon, two teaspoons, baking powder, half a teaspoon, raisins, a small bowl full, and carrots. Two large ones, peeled and grated. And for the icing, we need cream cheese, 180 grams, and icing sugar, 50 grams. That's everything. Let's get started. I've got an idea. First, we need to make the cake. <laughs> I'm pretending to be a bouncy bunny on my tiny trampoline. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. Be careful, small. Let's start by whisking the two eggs in a bowl. Making sure the yellow bit and the white are mixed in together. Then, slowly add the sunflower oil, but keep on whisking. Your whisking isn't as fast as my bouncing. <laughs> bounce, bounce, bounce. Woo! Oh, Do my ears look wonky? <laughs> now, in a separate bowl, put the self-raising flour, brown sugar, cinnamon, and baking powder, and mix everything together. Ooh, can I see? Of course, small. We need to put the egg mixture into the dry ingredients bit by bit and keep beating until it's nice and smooth. Just that bit for now. Bit more of the egg mixture and use all your arm power to get it all mixed in. That looks just about right. Where's Small gone? Ooh, I'm here, building my bunny burrow. Let me take you on a tour. This is the hill on top and the rabbit hole below where I can hop in and hide. Oh, I need to do some more digging. It looks very cosy. <laughs> Our mixture is smooth. So now we can stir in the grated carrot and a handful of the raisins. We'll save some for decorating later. Mix it all together. Can I have a raisin for my burrow, please? Here you go. You can burrow one. <laughs> Yum. Thanks. <gasps> <laughs> Once everything is mixed together, carefully pour the mixture into a cake tin. I've greased mine with a bit of butter. In it goes. Make sure we get it all in. We don't want it to go to waste. There we go. Are you in your burrow, Small? I made it inside, but my ears are stuck. Try giving them a wiggle. <gasps> My ears are free! <laughs> now we can put our cake mixture in the oven. Remember to ask your grown-up helper to do this for you as the oven is hot, hot, hot. It needs to bake for 25 minutes. I can be the first to set the timer for 25 minutes. <laughs> Our cake is cooked and cooled. Now we can make the icing. First, let's scoop the cream cheese into a bowl. Then, gently sift the icing sugar on top. Tap, tap, tap away. It takes quite a long time, but just keep going. For any lumps like this, we can use a spoon to gently push them through the sieve. There we go. Now, using the same wooden spoon, mix the two together until it's nice and smooth. It looks like a snowball. <laughs> Couple of more stirs, and that's nice and smooth. Ooh, is the cake ready to ice? Yes. Let's spread the icing on top. Smoothly does it. It's nice and creamy. I'm using the back of my spoon to smooth the icing round. There we are, nice and iced. Ooh, lovely. Now we need some decorations. I'm going to add a carrot shape on top of the icing. 
You and your grown-up helper can make a template by folding some paper in half, then carefully cutting out half the shape of a carrot, like this. Next, unfold it, and you've got a carrot shape. Now, hold the carrot template over the cake and sprinkle on some cinnamon. Make sure you're getting right to the edges of the template. Ooh, carroty goodness. Now gently lift the template away, and there we have a carrot shape. <gasps> it looks like a carroty medal. And finally, to top it all off, some raisins. Let's pop them on all around the edge. Oh, this rabbit loves raisins. Oh, I'm missing one. Don't worry, I've got one. <laughs> wow, that was impressive. We've made a lovely circle of them. Now we just need to add ribbon. Bronze, just like Bouncy's medal. Let's place it around the cake. Secure it at the back. Perfect. <laughs> Bounce is going to love it. Let's send it through. One champion rabbity carrot cake for a medal winning bunny coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! I'll hop off and change. <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam <laughs> My name's Jen And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use for another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while cleaning. Yes, Small, you've been the first at everything today. <gasps> Bounce has finished. The cake's all gone. And look, Small, she's left us a note. <laughs> what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Jen and Little Cook Small, my rabbity carrot cake was hoppingly yummy. <gasps> To say thank you, I would like to present this special medal to Jen for coming second all day. I know you'll bounce back into first place tomorrow. Love, bounce the bunny. Wow, I won a medal. I love it. Oh, I wanted to be the first to win a medal. Don't worry, Small. You can be the first to congratulate me. Okay. Congratulations! See you soon! At least I was the first to say that! <laughs>